This is my famous TikTok girlfriend. She cheated on me with this popular rapper. Did she just say he proposed to her? They're getting married. Alright, what is YouTube? It's your boy Money here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and use code Money in the item shop. And with all that being said, guys, let's get into this video because I've never before seen absolutely insane video here on the channel for you guys today. So in today's video, guys, my famous TikTok girlfriend Lina may or may not have gotten married to this popular rapper who goes by the name of 6ix9ine. Now I'm sure if you guys have been keeping on my videos, you know exactly who I'm talking about. But if you are new here, Lina used to be my girlfriend for about two weeks until she ended up cheating on me behind my back with this famous rapper who you all know is 6ix9ine and I literally just found that out yesterday when she admitted to me over text that she had been secretly going to his house and that she had been lying to me this whole time about how she hated 6ix9ine and how she was actually really in love with him so you know like anybody else would be I was completely heartbroken and I was trying to figure out a way on how I could get revenge on both of them but before I could even figure anything out I ended up finding out that 6ix9ine may or may not have proposed to lie and they might actually actually get married and it was absolutely insane so i don't want to spoil this video any further guys with all that being said let's not waste any time let's just get straight into it roll it Alright guys, so as most of you may or may not know from my conversation yesterday with Lina, it did not end on a good note. Like, she was screaming and yelling at me, and I was absolutely furious with her. I never wanted to talk to her ever again, and I literally told her that I don't want to see her face ever again. And you know what? I thought that was it. Like, I thought my relationship with Lina was in the past, and I could forget about her and move on, and, I, and we were never ever gonna be friends or talk to each other ever again, until this morning, when she actually ended up texting me herself and said, Hey, Armani, I just wanted to message you to let you know that I am sorry about what happened yesterday. I didn't want it to end like that between us. You didn't deserve to get lied to and played like you did. And you're actually a really nice guy. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. And to be quite honest with you guys, like I wasn't even gonna reply to her after I saw that text because if you ask me, it just sounds like a whole bunch of lies. Like obviously she's only saying sorry because she feels bad. And at the end of the day, a sorry means nothing. Like she already did what she did. She cheated on me. And her saying sorry isn't gonna fix that. But then I decided to be the bigger person and just suck it up. And I replied to her saying, I'm I mean, thank you for saying that, but like, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm obviously not gonna accept your apology because what you did to me was not okay. And you literally went to 6 ix house after telling me you've been cheating on me, so your apology means nothing. Actions speak a lot louder than words. And I mean, I know what some of you guys may be wondering, like, Armani, she's saying sorry. Why aren't you accepting it? Well, think about it this way. Imagine if I came to your house, grabbed your PlayStation 4, absolutely smashed it, and broke it so you couldn't play Fortnite anymore. And then the next day, I called you and said I was sorry. Like, okay, obviously, I did say sorry, but that isn't gonna bring your PlayStation for back so in the end it means absolutely nothing and that's what i'm basically trying to explain to lina but she obviously doesn't care because she replies saying you don't have to accept my apology i just needed you to know that i am sorry because you did mean a lot to me it just didn't work out for the both of us i wish it could have been different but i can't help how i feel and i just don't like you how i used to like you before but i still hope we can be friends after all this like what are you guys even seeing this right now she's saying it didn't work out between the both of us like no that is not true it didn't work out for you because you cheated on me i did nothing wrong i was just sitting here helping you this entire time when you went behind my back and did all that stuff with 6ix9ine so to answer a question like no we're not gonna be friends after this like i don't know who she thinks she is so i reply saying friends are you crazy lina you're a flat out gold digger who lied to me and act like 6ix9ine was trying to ruin your life when in reality you were cheating on me in what world would i want to be friends with you i don't even know why you're talking to me right now did 6ix9ine kick you out of his house already and to be honest i wouldn't even be surprised if that's the case like 6ix9ine's probably had over a hundred girls girlfriends in the past two years i have absolutely no clue why lina thinks she's special to him i mean she's obviously just his temporary girlfriend or something until he moves on and finds the next supermodel that he wants to be his girlfriend because i mean he's rich and he's a rapper so he can probably get any girl that's famous on social media because that's how it is these days but for some reason she doesn't realize that she replies saying okay i was trying to be nice to you but you know what you need to start treating my relationship with a little bit of respect why would he kick me out of his house for your information i had a great time at his house and i actually stayed the night there in his bed so so you wish I got kicked out like what a shocker she's been going to his house secretly behind my back and now she's even staying the night at his house one day after we broke up and she's sleeping in his bed like I, at this point I'm not even shocked I didn't expect anything less from her so I reply saying I mean if you didn't get kicked out yet then you will soon what don't you understand Lana he's a rapper they go through girls like you on a weekly basis he's only treating you special until the next one but you're too blinded by his money and fame to even see that I'm just trying to warn you because I'm a good person and if you guys don't believe me and 
think I'm just trying to lie to Lina so she breaks up with him. Don't take my word for it. Just take a look at this picture right here of 6 9 at his house. You can clearly see him standing in front of like five different girls. Does that look like a guy who wants Lina to be his girlfriend forever? I don't think so. That's why I'm just trying to warn her in advance. Obviously, I do still care about her and I don't want her to get hurt, but she doesn't listen to a word I have to say because she replies saying, or maybe you're telling me this because you want me to break up with 6 9 and come running back to you. I'm not dumb. I know what I'm doing. He isn't gonna leave me. He already said he loved me so many times and he treats me like the queen I am. Like what? That's gotta be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That doesn't mean anything. Just because someone says they love you doesn't mean they actually do. He obviously just said that so she wouldn't ever think about coming back to me because me and him did have a conversation. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He did sound a little bit worried. So I know for a fact that's what's going on here. But here's when the situation gets even crazier because I replied to Lina saying, okay, whatever. Have it your way. I guess you're just gonna have to learn it the hard way. And once again, I'm not a backup option. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you. Anyways, why are you still texting me if you're so in love with 6 9 Don't you have better things to do like go to his house again? And to be honest, after that, I wasn't expecting much. But that's when Lina sent me the craziest text message I've ever gotten in my entire life. She replies to me saying, the reason I'm still texting you is because I felt bad about how it all went down yesterday. And I felt like I at least owed you some sort of apology for being rude. And because I wasn't gonna tell you this, but 6 9 proposed to me yesterday. And I said, yes, we're gonna get married. Like what? She's gotta be joking. There's no way. 6 9 actually went down on one knee and proposed to Lina. And she said, yes, this has to be some sort of like fairy tale story that she's telling me. I can't believe this. So I say, oh my God, Lina, please tell me you aren't being serious right now. I know you're crazy, but I didn't think you can be that crazy. You mean he proposed to you in a music video, in a song or something? Surely he didn't actually propose to you and ask you to marry him for real, right? Like this has to be some sort of music video because you know these rappers film music videos all the time with girls and stuff. So I was hoping this wasn't actually for real, but it is guys because she replies saying, why would he propose to me in a music video? He did it for real and with the biggest diamond I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the ring has to be at least $200,000. So I had to say yes. It was the cutest thing ever. The room was covered in red flower petals. He got on one knee, pulled out the ring and said that he loved me and asked to marry him. Best moment of my life. And as soon as I read them, I heart literally dropped to the floor because I couldn't believe my eyes. And not because I'm jealous or anything. Like I don't care about being jealous. It's just that if they actually do end up getting married, this is going to be the worst mistake of Lana's life. Like he's going to completely ruin her life. So I have to do something to stop this right now. So I say, are you crazy? No, you're definitely crazy. But do you even have a brain, Lana? You've only known him for a little over two weeks. I'm not no love doctor, but there's no possible way you two are in love and ready to get married just because it was an expensive ring. You said yes. And yeah, I understand she might be a gold digger, but there's times to be a gold digger. This is not the right time to be a gold digger. I mean, we're talking about getting married. This isn't some little thing that you could just forget. When you marry someone, you're stuck with them for life. And I don't think she understands that because she says, no, that wasn't the only reason I told you I really like him. He's the best guy I've ever met in my life. And the time just felt right. I'm not getting any younger and neither is he. Me and him are going to be the most famous power couple in the world. I mean, just think about it. Our babies are going to be so cute. Like, I mean, as you guys can see, clearly Lana is delusional. She doesn't know what she's talking about because I know her and she's going to regret the decision. So I'm going to change her mind right now. So I say, okay, at first I thought you secretly cheating on me with 6 9 was crazy, but this just blows it out of the water like it's nothing. As a friend of yours, Lana, you can't go through with this. You think your daughter is going to be happy when she finds out 6 9 is going to be her dad? He's going to ruin her life and yours with it too. And then I sent her this TikTok and under it I wrote, I mean, just watch this and tell me that's who you want to be the father of your children. And you know what? I'm going to show you guys this video too, so you can decide for yourself what kind of person 6 9 really is. Roll it. Why is he always winning? It just doesn't make sense. It's in the Skittles. I know it's in the Skittles. Make me like 6 9 Okay, please turn that off. I think we've seen enough. I mean, that's who Lina wants to marry. That's why I'm trying to stop her. And I know for a fact he's trying to use her, but she doesn't listen to me. She says, I don't need to watch that when I was literally in the room as he was filming it. I don't see what's wrong with the video. I guess he just really likes Skittles. And don't worry about my daughter. She's gonna love him. He's actually really funny and sweet. I'm so happy I get to spend the rest of my life with him. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, like, are me and Lina talking about the same 6 9 She's out here calling him sweet and funny and the best guy in the world. And I mean, she has 
to be the only person in the world who actually thinks that because from what I've seen of him he is nothing like that so then I say okay don't know what's gone into you it's like you know a whole different six time than the rest of us because trust me I've spoken to him I've seen what he's about he's gonna ruin your life there's still time to forget about him and go back to your normal life Lina this isn't you I can tell you're miserable don't do this to yourself and just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier it does she replies saying actually no there isn't time because my baby six time was so excited to get married that her wedding is in two days there's no backing out now and by the way you're invited too I'm gonna go get my wedding dress today if you want you can come with me and help me pick the perfect one and I mean there you have it guys Lana has officially lost her mind and I usually have a lot to say but today I'm speechless so I just replied to her and say you want me to come help pick your wedding dress and marry the guy that you secretly cheated on me with behind my back and I probably won't be coming to your wedding either Lana you just met 6 9 three weeks ago cheated on me with him went over to his house multiple times said you fell in love with him got engaged to him and you're gonna get married in two days do you realize how crazy that sounds please i'm begging you don't do this but to be quite honest with you guys i gotta think there's no way i can convince her out of this because she says i'm sorry but there isn't anything you can do to stop this wedding now and it's gonna happen whether you like it or not but i'd love for you to be there for me please and i mean there's absolutely no way i'm gonna be going to six nine and lana's wedding i don't care if i'm invited or whatever the case is so i say the only way i'm going there is if i'm stopping the wedding and putting an end to this nonsense that you think is some sort of fairy tale love story and i probably shouldn't have said that because that actually made her really mad i mean she completely freaked out and said you know what you're uninvited to my wedding so don't even bother showing up i was trying to do the nice thing here you're just mad a famous rapper is marrying the girl of your dreams now if you excuse me i got a wedding dress to buy and that made me absolutely furious like i was fuming and i started freaking out myself at line and i say first of all you're not the girl of my dreams the girl of my dreams wouldn't cheat on me for a rapper that's just using her to dump her on the street a week later and second of all i never wanted to come to your wedding i just hope your wedding gets ruined somehow so you'll be saved because at this point you're in for a ride that's all i'm gonna say and at this point it clearly me and her just arguing back and forth so she decides to get six nine involved and she says by the way i'm telling six nine you were saying all these things about him and i getting married and if you know him so well you should know he isn't gonna be happy so if i were you i'd wash my back because my future husband doesn't mess around boo and i guess she's trying to threaten me saying six nine's gonna come after me for saying that i don't agree with their wedding like what is that supposed to do make me scared so i say oh my god i'm so scared of a rainbow headed short fake gangster who thinks he's all that go tell him whatever you want i bet he's gonna do nothing he's too busy ruining your life with a crappy marriage that's gonna last a week he doesn't have time to ruin mine too and if i'm being honest that was a little bit harsh but at this point she deserves it i mean if she's been rude to me i can't just hold back i have to say what i have to say but one thing i will do is put an end to this wedding i'm gonna make sure this wedding between six nine and lina does not happen and i'll do whatever it takes i just need some ideas so if any of you guys have some advice on how i can stop this wedding between six nine and lina let me know down in the comments below because at this point i need all the help i can get and don't forget to like this video because it does mean a lot to me and every like means one more chance that we will stop this wedding and don't forget to follow me on social media for more daily updates on these situations and with all that being said guys if you made it to the end of this video love you so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and it's been your boy Armani. i'm out peace